Here's the rye, very murky, going into secondary, very, it looks like chocolate milk. I was going to put it into the keg, but I decided to um, put it in the secondary to clear it up. Here's what it looks like against the white background. Wow. Very, very murky. So, let's see what happens. There's the rye. <laughs> That's my rye ale. Very cloudy. Much like, um, in many ways, in a lot of ways, much like a, a wheat. Um, but that's got a lot of rye in it. That's, uh, I, I looked at a lot of, look at that, it looks like chocolate milk or something. But I've looked at a lot of recipes for rye ales. And a lot of them had, you know, just a couple pounds or so of, of rye, mostly with, I think it was two row. Um, this one's actually six pounds rye, five pounds two row in a 19 liter batch, you know, uh, five gallons. I, I also had to use uh, a pound of rice hulls with this, just like you would um, with, with uh, a wheat, something that has a lot of wheat in it, because the, the actual grain of the rye is, is like wheat and that it doesn't have much husk to it. And you can get a stuck sparge because it's very, very soft. So don't forget, if you do make a rye beer, uh, use rice hulls. But uh, I had to use a pound uh, with this batch here. Um, it's, it's an Amarillo rye, so I used Amarillo hops, um, an ounce at 60 and an ounce at flame out. And, uh, and it doesn't have a whole lot of hop flavor or aroma. It's really malty, kind of sweet. Um, the IBUs right at 33 um, and it's it's at 5.9 ABV so it's pretty high but but look how cloudy that is. It's un unbelievable. I mean wheat is cloudy too but this is, a, I think this is cloudier than a wheat. It looks like it might be clearing up. It's been two days. Um, I, I kegged this but it's got that creamy head like a wheat does, but um, smells like it smells very, very nice, malty sweet, a little bit grainy. I'm not getting a whole lot of Amarillo. You would think with a with an ounce of Amarillo at the at the, at, at the end there at flame out, you would have more more aroma, but I'm not I'm not getting that. But uh, anyway, let's go in for a taste. Cheers. little bit of it's more it tastes more like barley than it does wheat because wheat has a very distinct flavor this um, this has more of a it's, a it's a spicy barley flavor and I think if you're going to get the flavor of barley <clears throat> my recipe which I'll put below um, just search for it below but uh, if you're going to get the flavor, you're going to get it in this one because this has a lot of rye. I mean, compared to, to a lot of recipes and, and it came from the Bible too. I don't have a, a copy of it around, but, uh, the basic recipe did come from the Bible. Of course, it's my own. I just kind of tweaked it around and, um, only used Amarillo hops. So it's my Amarillo rye, but, uh, but anyway, it it's very refreshing. Um, it has a, a, a great deal of maltiness. Uh, like I said, a little sharpness, uh, you know, residual sweetness, but a little bit of sharpness. I think some of that probably comes from the, from the hops. Um, let me go in again, try to get a, a better description. It almost, it almost has a, I think that might be the hops. It almost has a, like a slightly citrus flavor, but there is a little bit of a, a very very if you kind of try to notice what you're tasting there is a very little bit of maybe a spiciness maybe a bite to it but uh, very uh very nice very uh 
refreshing and um, but anyway and very cloudy <laughs> but uh, there it is the old Amarillo rye my first rye beer cheers everybody have a great week and uh, we're coming to the weekend soon and I'll see you on the next brewing video cheers